Hello, everybody. Welcome to Roll em If You Got Them. And I am Dakota, as always, joined with by Carl. How are we doing, everybody? It's been a minute. And nice to be back. It's been a minute. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the Season 5 of A Song, and Ice, a Song of Ice and Fire update. Um, it might be a little bit longer one. There's some stuff that changed. Got a, quite a few bit of slides. We'll be talking a lot. We'll be giving you our thoughts and overview of this entire season five update. All right. So without any further ado, we are just going to get right into it on going through these updates. All right. So first up here, we have the high sparrow. Um, as you can see, as we go through everything on the left will be the old version and everything on the right uh, is the updated version. Uh, just, just so you, you see it as we go. Um, so yeah, previously he had insight and embolden. Now he has, Embolden is still and intimidating presence. Basically, minus one to morale test rolls, plus one to wound from failing from failing panic from failing panic test while engaged. Yeah. Uh, one thing to preface us with: we've both been out of the competitive scene for this game for quite a while. Hmm. So if you're looking through this at a very uh, strictly competitive lens, take everything we say with a grain of salt because we're certainly at. Um, casual level yeah. players of song at this point even to as a competitive level i i will just say this now i don't know what this update is doing for you really other than toning down some mid-level armies but we'll get to that we're not reviews, gonna like... according to facebook are not great well, but the yeah, what the reviews according to facebook oh, yeah. usually they're all pretty hot takes anyways yeah. but um and even our stuff could be is gonna be hot takes but yeah. hey so in bold and staying the same yeah, that's um, fine. And then intimidating presence. I don't. From, I'll honestly, I from a from a uh, thematic standpoint, like no, yeah, no. He's a withery old man. Like mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be intimidated by him. I'm gonna smack him right in the mouth. He's he's I, got warriors. I get it, but yeah, I think I'm not like scared. I'll say I think like gameplay wise, it's a buff because you get it offensively and then you can also get it like on the defensive side like it's not an order so it's just always happening i mean it's it's probably a buff to him but like okay um yeah. i don't think his tactics cards are playing off that too much right uh, i don't know so yeah so the high sparrow you can see new with intimidating presence another thing you're gonna see throughout a lot of these cards the card art where did the card art go on like you know behind where it says the high sparrow and then down the left side there's more of this to come i noticed it when i was putting this together today i was like well, why did they muddy out the card art the, the, what like i don't know what you're talking about like the, the back of the card yeah like the no no look where it says the high sparrow behind uh -huh. that like you know you see the flowers and and stuff on the old card they they remove that from the new oh cards, the little decoration back there the i see what you're saying now it gets worse as we go there's uh huh. boltons had like a bunch of blood splattered on their card they remove like 90 percent of it that's kind of mm. yeah we'll see we'll, we'll, we'll see yeah. we'll i mean see. like now that you said it like i now just notice so i didn't notice it until i was putting together the boltons which are the Did, end of this on. video hold on. so i'm curious to see did they so looking at these cards now okay like we're really gonna get hung up on this card art thing oh we totally are <laughs> did they just reverse images these cards so hear me out so if you look at the cards each of them on the the outside corner so on the old one on the left side and on the new one on the right side is where the design is right even though there's way less design on the new one yeah there's way less design but like it looks like it's a like different the... part of the pattern maybe but that's so weird like why wouldn't you just make it look good it's kind of weird yeah kind of weird Maybe it's because they don't um, plan on reprinting these cards, and they maybe <laughs> spent that 2021, remember when they did the giant card packs and stuff that were... Oh my half, god. I half still, of them were changed before it came out. I still have mine, I think. Oh, uh, we said 30 seconds a slide. We are multiple minutes in on slide two. Yeah, fuck, Here we go. Fuck. Mercy of the Mother. Um, <laughs> Mercy of the Mother. It's going to get worse friendly, before it gets better, folks. When a friendly combat unit activates, that unit performs one morale test. This is the old one. On the pass, it restores wounds, plus... Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Now the new one is remove, when it activates, remove a condition token. They perform one morale test on a success. 
restore two wounds plus one for each trick rank on a failure restore one wound. so you're getting that additional kicker of the removing the condition token you're, you're yeah you're removing a condition token um it's still a guaranteed heal it just depends on how much it it's 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 fine i don't I, yeah it's I don't fine know how much I mean, it was needed it's fine yeah it's, i mean i know too like you're using that on the uh poor fellows that had like a four up morale so you're like i don't give a shit right well, they, yeah, yeah. Or, actually, i don't even know what they are anymore they're probably not four up um so yeah and then protection of the father it was for melee attack after rolling defense dice you perform a morale test on success you block your hits um now it's actually just more hits that you're blocking and on a failure you still block uh yeah not not too bad actually not too bad of a buff um yeah it, it takes away a, a re-roll and just gives you a guaranteed the reroll isn't bad though, because if you spike your dice, I'm not saying you always spike your dice, but like, hell, if you're using like if you're using a, I don't know, warrior sons or something, they got a four up anyways. You're saving on your four up. Yeah. And you, I don't know. I'd rather just reroll those fails yeah. into not. Well, once I mean, it, I don't know. Once again, I'm assuming this is directed towards the poor fellows, and they have bad defense. So why not give mm -hmm. them? You know. But it's uh, his just, warriors. Just, just it's an his... auto three. It's his warrior sons, though. Yeah, you know. True, true, true. Okay, on to the next one. All right. Um. So the unit cards. We'll have the first, the left side of the card, and then we'll look at the right side of the card. Uh, left side of the card. No, no change here for the Casterly Rock Honor Guard. Oh, on your video. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yep. Right side of the card. Um, the Lannister Oppression ability has changed. It's. Uh, it used to be vicious before bone attack dice you may expend condition tokens on the defender to gain the following if you expend a panic uh, till the end of the turn defender loses abilities may not be targeted by friendly tactics cards first and foremost so I, I'm already glad they changed it because mm -hmm. those, it's that, those are NPC and they're just like oh like you brought this cool unit I'm just going to turn the whole thing off I've hated those mm -hmm. since they've been put into the game I don't even need to make it any further down the card and I'm glad this unit changed um, well, the thing is, I will say the only thing that really changed on it is it went from removing a specific token to just removing any token and gaining one of them. So you still can lose all abilities, but you just choose okay. one. So that's what well, the change. That's so we're breaking down the change. Right. So it's still not as... Oh, so they're kind of better then. Yeah, they're just better now. So uh, Carl was like, oh, wow. they got nerfed. And like, no, 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 they got buffed nope. because they're now just good. Yeah, they're just... I, mean, I saw people online being like, oh, you throw Clegane in them before... Because people are like, oh, the unit doesn't do that much. And they're like, well, with Clegane, it's OP. And they're like, well... Well, with Clegane, everything is OP. Right. And they're like, oh, it does more now, and it's just more OP from Clegane. Yeah, I mean, you can... I mean, as a Lannister, you just throw out panic tokens anyways. Yeah, or, for sure. Honestly, you kind of throw out a bunch of tokens, even weakens. But... All right. Um, Knights of Castle yes. Rock, Lance ability has yeah. gone up a die here no it, it went down it went down oh went I, down. I mean their lance attack they oh, you have these they went up one die in or no they went down in attack profile sorry yeah yeah so they, they went down in attack profile and then yes. on the ability side here um lance has stayed the same they've just reorganized it a little bit um and it's still pretty much the same they just every lance cav as we go through this you'll kind of see they took a dice off that top rank mm -hmm. to bring Lance to, so instead of being 10 dice at full ranks, when you charge, it's nine dice at full ranks. Right, right. I mean, it's a nerf to all cav, but like sometimes I'm like, I don't think Lance cav needed that nerf. Uh, so after looking at these Knights of Cash of the Rock, basically those are all the changes. Uh, you get the High Sparrow and a couple Commander cards, the Honor Guard dudes, and then the Knights. So got three changes as Lannisters. Hopefully that's enough for you to get through season five. The card art, the decorations, is uh, pretty much the same with the exception of that top right corner. The design is also, if you look at like above the orders symbol, like mm -hmm. where the lines are is different than the other one. Like they dropped yeah. it down like a way. The text is also better on the new one. Agreed, agreed, it is. So, okay. as as, you, as we continue through this, we will be judging every card art. Every um, single card art, like this one. This one is backwards. <laughs> they flipped this one, left to right. Uh -huh, yeah, 
Oh my god, you were right. Okay, yeah. Mirror like they, Reed. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll hit, so Mirror Reed, we're going to hit Hidden Traps quite a few times, so we're going to cover it now. We'll just gloss over it later. So basically, Hidden Traps, you're losing the additional extra hit. So at full ranks, it's three hits. At two ranks, it's two hits. At one rank, it's one hit. Yep. It basically is just nerfing it some more because they just can't figure out how to do auto hits on stuff from 12 inches away because, you know, that's got to be a thing. Yes, yeah, right, right, right. Like, oh, you moved. Like, you're going to take hits. Cool. All right. All right. On um, to, oh, on to uh, Brandon Tully. So yes, keeping moving through these some, Starks. Uh, so some tactics cards here. Mm -hmm. um, so he he got the War Cry, this War Cry update. I think we'll see it with Asha later as well. Yep. We do a morale test on a success. It's panicked or vulnerable. If it's on a Tully unit, it's both. So it's a, a buff because it used to be just it used only to be his just unit. Brendan's unit. Yep, and now which it's which sucks. Now it's just any Tully. So now you can run like a full Tully army and get that buff. Right, which, which is it's good. I mean, it's a kind of a crappy tactics card, but it's just a, a good buff for the card. Yep. But... Look at once again decorations. They're completely yeah. different. I like the old ones more. They're more defined. Yep. Okay. Um. Cranic traps. Yep. Uh, so old card. When an enemy unit activates, if that enemy is in long range of a friendly Cranog unit, it suffers minus one to hit this turn. If the enemy declares a maneuver march or retreat action, it is treated as moving through dangerous terrain. It is... Now the new one, yep. when an enemy performs a maneuver march or retreat before resolving it, they suffer the movement and can are treated as moving through dangerous terrain. So it's a little bit more of just like a gotcha now because before you'd activate and I'd play it and then you could at least make the decision like I do or don't want to move, which was like kind of strong in the card itself. Now it's like, oh, I'm going to maneuver this unit. And then you're like, yeah, you're right. Uno reverse. And you're like, yep. oh, it is uh, it lean. It is leaned into a more of a gotcha. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm never excited to see those. Nope, not at all. Okay, superior positioning, old card here. Um, when an enemy performs a charge action before resolving that charge, if that enemy charges a unit in the front, they suffer a disorderly charge on charge distance rolls of a three or less. If they suffer a disorderly charge, they become vulnerable. So regardless of charge distance, 50% uh, to be disorderly and then becoming vulnerable instead. And now on the new card same top portion but they updated it if it targets rob's unit they instead suffer a disorderly charge on a roll of five or less pretty big buff i'll be honest yeah because you literally go from charging uh if you're like oh i'm i'm one in, i'm auto in mm -hmm. you're like no no no, i'm gonna play this and now you need to roll a five up from an inch away to that's not like disorderly crazy you know? big, yeah crazy big buff but it's good rob kind of mediocre Okay. Um, oh, this is Craning Men are basically. I'm just oh, pretty hidden sure traps. It's just hidden traps, yeah. Yeah, hidden, hidden um, traps changed. Um, yeah. Carl probably forgot the other version of the cards. The Tully Cav, it's the same thing with Lance. They're getting minus one attack dice at full ranks. And I think their abilities are the exact same, if I'm correct. Yeah, I think I have my cards in the wrong spots here. I think as you, yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, for this slide, it's backwards, folks. Uh, the <laughs> old stuff is on the right. The new is on the left. They're losing a die. Um, Everything else is pretty much remaining the same. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then final Stark here. Um, they're attack. They get movement, so they got a movement bust to yes. buff to five. They which... got a movement buff to five. That's pretty good in itself. Um, I don't think their abilities had changed at all either. So it's basically just a one a movement buff. Yep. So Starks. Uh, that's not bad. You got the the hidden traps change. So that's um, two. It's an attachment. It's a unit. Um, a few commanders got a tactics card update. Tully Cav got their their lance change. Nerf. Yeah, their Cav nerf basically. And then um, Tully Shields picked up a movement, which I think. Uh, eh, I don't. I, mean, I'm I don't think that's. I mean, it's yeah. a net loss. I think in general, like the Rob card buff is big, but 
a, a hidden traps nerf. Not that they used it, but a hidden traps nerf and the lance nerf is just kind of overall nerfs for Starks mm-hmm. on their five changes. Five changes for season five. Yes, five whole changes, <laughs> and two of them are the same. That multiple, multiple. I mean, free folk mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, and yeah. then yeah, great choice. That multiple factions receive the same change so Mm -hmm, yeah starting out with the free folk here so here's man's raider he's got a very long card not going to redo the whole thing (laughs) essentially boisterous charisma is changed um so instead of not letting you be a target of ncu's tactic cards or orders from enemies it's each time this unit passes a panic test target one enemy in short range they become vulnerable weakened vulnerable or weakened not I don't I don't know. I think they t- honestly I could see them making this change because they don't know what targeting means. So then they're like, we're gonna remove just, that just start and make getting it rid uh, of it. It's been a problem for so long. Like, can we just start to get rid of it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um obviously a nerf here. Um It's like an I would say it's probably a side grade because A, I don't ever know what order I mean like I don't know what boisterous charisma is really stopping. Like I do know what it's stopping, it's stopping a lot. Yeah. But, yeah, like, I mean, passing out tokens is, like, not bad. No, but it requires a panic test pass, which can be difficult panic, for right. free folk. Um, well, his unit, well, they his have unit inspiring of, presence, I guess. Yeah, so he's on a five. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> skin changer. Skin changer is losing stalwart, and when you deploy the skin changer, you are selecting bear, eagle, or wolf. It is not a round-to-round change anymore. That's I completely think this is fine because he was a one point before. It was crazy. One point before with stalwart, and then each round you select a thing that came with it. So you could yeah. do bear five times, which was basically five wounds. Right, unless they killed it. But it's yeah. like, you know, they're taking yeah. one of their attacks. They mainly have four attacks this round, and they're spending it on this stupid bear. Like, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, the skin changer's been really good since they've been released, mm-hmm. and uh, this is probably fine, honestly. As a free folk player, like, I, I, I see it. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I get it. It's a one-point attachment that goes into a unit that can take free attachments. Yep. So, yeah. Um, Regroup and reform here. Uh, it took me quite a few minutes to find. Yeah, I read through this and I was like, changed. "What changed?" It's. I'm rereading it again to try to figure out what changed again. Did they just add a space, like uh, that gap? Target. So target two friendly infantry units. Target in long range of each other. Here, this is what we'll do. You'll read the left. I'll read the right. Let's go line okay. for line. You do it. Okay. Remove up to four models from one of these units. Uh, remove up to four models from one of these units. Restore that many wounds to the other. Restore that many wounds to the other. You may then move. You may then move one attachment from one of these units. You may then move one attachment from one of these units. To the other. To the other. Replacing one model as normal. Replacing one model as usual. And keeping usual attachment restrictions. And keeping usual attachment restrictions. Or switch two friendly attachments in those units. Okay, I don't know what changed. I don't know what changed other than the spacing, and they changed replacing one one model, re- replacing one model as normal, and they switched it to replacing one model as usual. I I don't know. I don't know it, what changed. It that, was literally just a reword. Did a card it, change? it was a reword, and oh, then they they like that's it. That that's the only word that's different. I think, well, the thing that is different, too, is if you look at Regroup and Reform, the left one is a little bit more high def. The right one is yeah, a little facts. bit lower def. Facts. So... <laughs> you gotta fire the editing guy again. I don't I don't really know what no, changed. No, I mean, I, the card... The card itself is, like, like shape. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. If, you, if you guys know, let us know. Um, we see this again later, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. And I, I read it again, and I was like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Enraged. This is going to kind of piggyback into uh, the Giants. The Giants took a nerf, and um, I, I think of myself as a rather objective person, and I freaking hate it. But um, so Enrage used to be. Oh, 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 you mean the models took a nerf? Gotcha. The the giant units. Yeah, yeah. Um, this unit suffers two wounds to the end of the turn. You may reroll attack dice. Defender becomes panicked. A new now one. It's... 
panicked and weakened. Yes, is panicked the only and weakened. Um, yeah, I mean, this card is a buff. Yeah. But mm-hmm. the ripple effect this card has is, is... We'll get there in a minute. Okay. Yeah. Um, extra, extra card. Extra mm-hmm. token. That's fine. Oh, um, did you... Steer... Hold on. What's up? Did you miss some free folk attachments? I, I skipped a bunch of it because it was just like... Oh, it was hidden, hidden traps. Gotcha. Um, Yarl ignores attachment restrictions oh, okay. now. Um, I oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, continue. Couldn't, couldn't find the wolf card on stats without... It, so I, I just skipped them. Fuck it. Okay. Steer here. Uh, he's picking up a new card called Bitter Demise. Um, when a friendly infantry or cavalry unit is destroyed before removing that unit, it performs one melee attack action. Use highest attack die value. If it targets Steer's unit, it may reroll any attack dice. Um, what someone, the hell card does this replace is my question. Uh, someone on Facebook said it replaces Final Strike. Take that for what it's worth. That... I don't... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I... I... I guess I, I, could, have, I could have uh, pulled Final Strike up. Also. So let me pull, let me, I'll read off Final Strike because now I'm like, okay, after an enemy completes a melee attack, this is an old Final Strike. Correct. Um, for each wound the defender suffers, the attacker suffers one hit. If it's Steer's unit, it's one. Okay, so Bitter Demise is literally the old Ours is the Fury. Mm-hmm. Like after, after you get attacked, you just get to attack back. So this is. Like it's a buff. I'll say that this is a buff because you just reroll an attack for the highest attack um, dice. No, I would certainly say this is a nerf. Final strike. You get a unit of raiders blown up. True, you're and right. Then and they take twelve it, hits, maybe at minus one, probably at minus one if you do it right. You're right. I mean, yeah, yeah you're this right. Is, so this like, is how many units do one tap raiders though? Is I the thing. Know. Like not many. Enough. But yeah, I, okay, I see. I see what you're saying. It is a nerf to free folk, but I think in general, if this card was other places, final strike, this would be a buff. But I don't think other people got the same buff or change. Yeah. Of, like, so okay, continue. <laughs> all right. Um. All right. So giants. So we'll we'll look in giants in two parts here. So they used to be one dice hitting on a two plus that did auto wounds. Now uh-huh. they are four dice. Hitting on a three plus, okay. Um, so it used to be, you know, if you generate any hits instead of rolling defensive dice, the defender suffers D three plus one wound on each wo- for each wound this unit has suffered, which you know we we said was the yeah. rage. You take two wounds to start your turn. Now you know you're dealing D three plus three wounds. Uh-huh. Um, and rage got its its buff, but giants are now unblocked hits um they're the same as the other two giants the one one and mag uh they will do this no so they no no so they the difference is for you gain plus one attack dice for each wound this unit has suffered so you can take i don't know why the giant one on the left doesn't show the wounds that we're looking at oh it has six wounds it shows it now they've updated so mm-hmm. you have six wounds you could basically get up to nine attack dice and you don't give up the defender does not roll defense dice and you pass out a panic i don't know i think that's a buff because uh, it's instead of just dealing d3 wounds plus whatever you're now dealing you're attacking, like you charge in, you're dealing basically four wounds automatically, full health. It, yeah, but there's ways to like, block hits and things with card play and stuff. Um, I mean, it just says defender does not roll defense dice, so I don't. I guess. Yeah, I mean, there four is. Four on threes, you should get three there, and then for each wound you've taken. So, like, if you enraged, let's let's stick to that example. Um, uh-huh. You're gonna get plus two attack dice, so you have six on threes. Six on threes, you probably charged at that point. So you're th- six dice, three up, three rolling. I mean, it's just sure. you're gonna... so you're you're probably getting five wounds through. You're probably and you're averaging five wounds the other way. I mean, it's a um, side grade. The other way, oh. you're averaging 
It yeah, it just depends. I mean, it's five wounds. I mean, you're basically averaging five wounds either way. Yeah. They just side they side graded it to be probably a little bit easier to just think about. Where, I mean, we I think we read the initial one and it's like, well, I'm one dice doing it, and like even now too, there's some like there's some benefit to weakening them. I would say, like weakening a giant, um, there's there was like no benefit to weakening a giant oh, before. Yeah, that's that's true. But then so. again, like, should anybody be weakening a giant? It's a giant. I mean, I don't, I don't disagree with what you're saying. It's just part of the gameplay, man. Part, part of, the, of game the game. All right, and then um, we have Harma's Vanguard here. Left side of the card does not change. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like these cards are also backwards. Or did they just give me like really good images for? No, I don't know. Let's uh, no, no. Season five's on the right because it shows it on the uh, oh, the bottom. Yeah. Of the okay. Corner. Well, that that one looks. Yeah. Why does that looks one look bad. so much better? I don't know. Okay. So now the what has changed is planned approach. Oh. Um, you can. Uh, you target a. Start of the turn, target a friendly unit in long range until the end of the turn. They may not be targeted by enemy effects or abilities while selecting their action for the turn. That unit may only declare charge actions. That is the old version. Mm -hmm. So now it's basically they basically reading it on the right. They uh took off the Jesus oh, Pete's my dogs over here. They took off the uh, kicker of only declaring charges. Oh, yeah. that's a buff. Yeah. That that is a buff. Yeah. Um, sure. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, free folk overall. I um, mean, there's hidden there's hidden, changes. We, we we didn't show hidden traps. Um, yeah, sure. I believe the bear also got a change, which didn't make it on here. It, I'm assuming the bear took a buff just for being pigeonholed into hey, you have to choose this at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I'm not going to read through whole, all both of those cards on the yeah. bear. The bear, bear my, there, there's some other smaller changes that we didn't. The wolf's in here, like, too. It's text wall. Like, um, oh, and Yarl ignores uh, usual attachment restrictions. I guess the eagle is on here, too. All three of those got changed. Well, they didn't make it in slideshow. Um, yeah, if you're going to run the skin changer, just run those things. If you're like, I'm not yeah, going to I don't, I don't, I don't like to change the giants. I don't like to change the giants. Um, I think it's a buff to to basic giants because no, it just made sense thematically that they do wounds. The thing is, I don't think anybody is playing normal giants because they just don't have the output as much as Mag or um, Wan Wan. I mean, that, yeah, I there's mean, seven that's, points. That's, that's true. But, that's true. I mean, but like nobody nobody plays them. So you're like, if you're gonna take a giant, you just take a good giant, yep. not one of those. So I don't know. That's just my thoughts all, all right, right on to neutrals on to the neutrals or according to uh facebook the neutered rolls i didn't know they were even got a nerf i um, mean um actually people they... people were kind of going on about boltons specifically being unplayable but yeah. uh let's see Roots, um, he's swapping intimidating presence for prey on fear that's a nerf um yeah i don't i don't like that yeah, it's yeah. yeah I it's, think he would be the intimidating presence. Yeah, not the, uh, for sure. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't look like spread fear got a change at no. all. Okay. No, just prey on fear. Um. Oh, this is another one. You're gonna see this multiple times. Motivated by coin has changed. Um. It used to be. When a friendly NCU claims a wealth, you may replace it with, you know, this unit, Dario's unit, you know, whatever it is, performs one attack action. Motivated by coin now is each time a friendly NCU claims a wealth, you may replace the zone's effect with one friendly unit with motivated by coin performs one attack action. You can choose this unit. You can choose a different unit. It's oh. it's, it's not really different because it's not like you could claim the wealth, you know, multiple times. It's just basically you can claim the wealth Instead of being like, it's like Dario's the, unit, it's yeah, like any it's like of the this unit okay. is eligible. I didn't know that that was an issue because yeah, it, I, I'm, I not, know, I'm, you know, I'm curious I, I get to see it. like what what did we fix by switching this? Because it's on all the Stormcrow units. Well, it's on uh, the 
the well, the thing is, I'm wondering. Seeker, which I think is no, I no. skip the fortune seeker because it's the no. same thing. It's motivated by coin. Um, he must he gained motivated by coin? The fortune seeker did. Oh wait, no, he might have had it. I think what it was was it. Pro they probably all said one. This unit may perform one attack action. So somebody probably read it literally as I can claim the wealth. Every one of my units with motivated by coin can perform an attack. Because the rule maybe, reads that, maybe. and then now they're like turning it to like one of them. This had That's to have been only... like an oh for fuck's sake moment by the devs. I it probably was because I'm probably reading right. It. I can't see anything else. Because even dude, I'm gonna while while we're kind of on it, just because I think it's funny. It's and just, I'm... I can see him in a room, someone being like, rewrite it like they're five. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So the um. Glory Seeker previously, it reads, no, Glory, well, it's the Fortune Seeker. Mm -hmm. So motivated by coin, yeah, it's cause, so it reads, each time a friendly NCU claims a wealth, you may yeah. replace the zone's effect with Fortune Seeker's unit performs one attack oh action. So I'm guaranteeing every one of these abilities said this unit performs one attack. So somebody probably was like, well. It's been, played... it's been written that way. I've, yeah, yeah. Forever. I, I played in tournaments where people are running multiple fortune seekers, and it's never been like, oh, yeah, all everyone knows, everyone knows, like it's it's just one unit, dude. Like, yeah, man, yeah, I'd like to get the story behind this one. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. um, joking. Uh, he just got precision, and he lost Overwatch. Uh, yes, it, here's here's a really weird one. They did this to his commander and his attachment. His commander's attachment are exactly the same now. I mean, obviously, one's free and one's two points. I don't... Is that the only instance of this in the game where the commander and the attachment are... It's the same? I mean, I'm I think... Well, it's sure joking. It is, right? Pro yeah, I mean, definitely. I think it is. I think yeah. Too, if we look at, like, uh, it's joking, and then what's the other goofball's name that's, like, their friend? Um, his buddy. Mm -hmm. oh, um. Yeah. Oh, uh, what the hell is this box called? But yeah, he um, he gained precision, uh, ranged and melee attacks versus Overwatch, which was a uh, end march or maneuver in long range and line of sight perform a range attack. Um, yeah, I, I guess yeah. his his old version had no benefit to melee. Yeah. Um, and maybe they want him to be a little more balanced, dude. I, I yeah uh, okay deal bet um gold this is company the... officer Bo um boister and charisma again changed uh, yep they're t they're taking out defending targeted guaranteed I, I, they'd be fine if they never <laughs> use that damn word again it'd be fine it's it's literally been a problem since the first time they tried to explain what the hell it meant uh -huh, yeah um then fear keeps a man alive also changes here roose bolton the leech lord um, old version, when an enemy fails a panic test, target any number of friendly House Bolton units in long range. For each wound caused by this panic test, restore that many wounds total across these units. The new card is basically adding, if that enemy is in short range of Ruse Bolton, plus one wounds. Okay. Okay. It's a buff. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a buff. It's, it's, just, it's a buff. Like, it's not, you can't argue it's a buff. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. He, uh... Just an additional wound for being in short range of him. Cool. cool. All right. Um, so, That's it. So that'll be it goals. because dervishers, mercenaries, uh, they got the motivated by coin change. Um, neutrals overall. Wait, hold on. What did Biter change? Oh, Biter went down to zero points. Yeah, Biter went down to zero points. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and then everything else is motivated by like this motivated by coin makes up. All of it, like one, Both two, units, three. three attachments. Attach okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you get Biter for free. Jokin has a point to be in a melee unit. Um, the Golden Company officer took the Boyster and Charisma. Roos. Roos took a couple of... Uh... He got Prey on Fear. And oh, he lost. got prey on fear, it, lost intimidating presence, and then flayed man, or fear keeps a man alive. Took a little buff. 
so he's, even too, so before, to, to even too to go back into the sphere keeps a man alive so that's kind of actually a wash between him because before you'd get the plus one wound from him now you're getting the plus one wound from the card yes and the one from the card is going to if you got three units that are getting healed by this and they lost two on the panic you got three units picking up three wounds uh -huh, yeah yep or no i'm sorry i'm sorry it's no, four, it'd no. Be four wounds total yeah they can do four wounds total but it's now just it's short range of him yeah. instead of engaged with him yeah so i mean it's it's overall still a buff it's okay. just they changed yep. they changed this thing and his unit can heal more when when yeah. engaged so okay um on, on to night's watch on to night's watch this one's even funnier i think i i almost like glanced over these night's watch changes and um, didn't even realize it happened benjamin stark mounted commander took the change to hidden traps yep to get us started here um three tactics cards got to switch up here um Let's see here. Uh, Sword and Darkness, when a friendly unit is performing a melee attack before rolling attack dice, if the defender has not activated this round, they become panicked and vulnerable. Second uh, a option is when a friendly Night's Watch unit activates, attach this card to them until they fail a panic test while attached. Uh, melee attack is treated as having plus one rank for attack dice. That is the same on both cards. It is the top part that changed. And the top part now is perform your attack the defender becomes vulnerable if not activated they also become panicked i mean it's a buff because they're yeah you're, you're for not, sure to get the vulnerable get, yeah you're for sure to always get vulnerable and then if you like alpha strike you can get panicked fair enough small buff small buff um uh oh yep fire against the fire that burns against the cold um previously um for morale test, after rolling dice, the may, unit may re-roll any dice for this test. Now, it still re-rolls, but if this targets your commander's unit, they auto-pass this test instead. Uh, it's a buff that I'm fine with. Yep, it's fine. It's fine. Bottom Porsches are the exact same. Yep. Just so we... Like and, we are... Then, finally, and then, uh, the oh, light yeah. that brings the dawn. Old version, when a friendly unit is performing a melee attack before rolling attack dice this attack may reroll any misses same as before um you know, new new is the same as the old oh it's, so it's just the bottom part of the card i'm sorry yep uh, when a friendly night's watch unit activates attach this card to them uh until they fail a panic test while attached this unit gains plus one a morale test that is the old version the new version you add if this targets your commander's unit this unit also cannot become panicked uh, another small buff. Um, small buff. Uh, second card to really lean into. Hey, if your commander's doing a thing, it's a slightly better thing. Um, makes sense yeah. thematically because Night's Watch are elite. Blah 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 blah. The old grizzled they, vets. They they rely on their commanders to keep them in line too a little yeah. bit. So like that's a cool little like thing. Yeah. But like as you can see, that was the it for Night's Watch. Yep, so if you it. were happy with Night's Watch if in season we... four. This is what's changed yep. for season five. Yeah, you're going to love it. <laughs> so much fun. You're going to like the way you look. Um, Into Baratheon. So we actually just did a video on these guys. Um, Going through. Um, so Conviction is the same. First of the King's Men. Um, it's still the Count is controlling letters and thing. But then I also gave you the kicker of while your opponent does not control crown or letters, this unit may reroll any morale test dice. Not bad. Okay. Yeah. Because you panic test or morale test, so basically you're always rerolling morale test. That's pretty good because if you control both of them, like you physically put models on both of them, you're now getting a double buff. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm a fan. And they actually put the go back real quick. Did they put the Stannis loyalty on the front of the card now too? So you can at least see it. Not that uh, it matters. Um, it doesn't change anything. But I on mean, the card, it's on the back. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Um, Davos. Davos is dropping out flank. Uh, oh, he's not. It's. Is it changing? Oh, my. It. Yeah. It, so, outflank. Did outflank change? No. Outflank looks the same. Oh. So, they just put the loyalty he, on the side. Of the card. Yeah. All they do is add Stannis loyalty to the front of the card. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Great cool. buff. Cool. 
cool guys. Uh, boisterous. Yeah. Yeah, Dav Davos finally, he's getting his time to shine. Um, um, boisterous charisma change also yep. on Renly. Um, and you get the Renly loyalty on Renly on the front. And then you still have stalwart and precision. So yep. just a boisterous charisma change and then the loyalty on this yep. portion of the card. Why do we put the loyalty in the goddamn middle? Yeah, I hate that. Like, why did that card get set up? Like, well, look, Estamont's is at the all. bottom. Stannis at the top. St or Davos, Davos is at the top. Renly's in the middle, bro. If Baratheon players weren't confused enough. Top or bottom? I don't mind putting oh it on either. God. I don't care. But like, in the middle? Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? That's... Oh, listen. And why is the sword one at the bottom? Oh, this is hard to like, look why at. Did, this why is, did this Chris, hurts this my eyeballs to look at. Terrible. And it's low def. Everything else is in low def too on it. I don't like, like the look, color of the text on Baratheons either. The Starks, they put the color of the text back up there. Um, a few of them, there's some that huh. have, I do not like Brathians being in like this weird burnt orange. Well, even too, like, Just look at the, make it black. going it's back into that card art again, looking at that card art, look how undetailed they have it around Renly's name. It looks very undetailed. Jesus, this looks like it was half done. Oh, oh wait, maybe it was. All right. Oh, <laughs> and okay. Like, inexplicable roll return. Um, oh, this is another left and right. Oh, I think the only thing they changed was... The bottom start of a friendly turn draw one tactics card. Okay, yeah, it looks um, like it. And they like spaced it a little better, so it's a little easier to read. But like, I hate that text color. I mean, the text color it's less of an issue for me, but I like that they actually split it up so you can read both bullet points now a lot a little bit more simply than yeah. But oh, this is the biggest nerf in the Baratheons are getting besides just the weirdness, but essentially tactical approach, it only deals one plus one wound instead of plus D three. And then if it's Stannis unit, it's plus two wounds, big nerf. So um, yeah, because even too, like they didn't, I'll even say that you're not going to see champions of the stag get an actual attack dice buff because one of the reasons was, it was like, Oh, they got six dice and they give a token, and then they get tactical approach. Now it's like they just deal, you know, maybe six wounds. Yeah. Uh, like, they're not, like, there's nothing in that army that's, like, really gonna have a bunch of output. So the only commander that could do some form of fun killing got nerfed. This is the first time he's gotten nerfed in five years, though. Um, oh, and then um, Justin Massey uh, regroup and reform that, yeah, that, 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 one, that one word, maybe. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um Riders of High Garden. Uh the The Dice. They, yeah, they lost a they lost a die. And um They actually went from Lance to High Garden Lance. So this is maybe a buff. So when charging it gets plus one two hit and two extra dice for each remaining ranks. No. Um yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. I mean, yeah, sure. They, they should be if they're at full ranks, they're hitting on twos. No, no, they're hitting on threes. Plus on one to hit and rolls plus two attack dice for each of this unit's remaining ranks. So if you have two remaining ranks, you're going to get plus two to hit. I didn't read it like that. And roll four attack dice. Okay, so when charging gains plus one to hit and rolls plus two attack dice for each of this unit. You're right. That's what it yeah, reads now. So, so they're, they're on ten two. on twos at no, full six, ranks. They're nine on twos. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. I was I was looking across the card. You're right. That is a. I don't know if they just didn't put a comma in the right spot, but like that feels I like don't, a lot. I I don't think like we're reading it that Dude, way. I don't think we're reading makes, it how they. End. I don't high think we're reading it. makes a motherfucking lance, son. <laughs> I don't think we're reading it cur like. We're reading it correctly how they wrote that thing. Mm. I don't think they wrote that right. Put like I don't. Charge. I'm just saying that. I, I think that I think, that, in my opinion, I think the buff they were going for was like letting them hit on threes with nine dice at full ranks. So it's like, how often do free folk raiders even get one shot? Right now, right now they get one shot. It's still only You're nine. Rolling... It's only nine dice. I don't care. They're gonna fail their panic and die. <laughs> <laughs> they took one yeah. wound on their way up. Dude rolled his ankle. Okay, Dude, uh, I, I, if I, I'm reading that correctly, I mean that's 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 steroids buff right there. 
I think they're missing a comma. So it should uh, the way that it, I think it should read is when charging, this Did unit plus one to plus hit. One to hit. Period. No comma. And, no, I and I don't know if there should be a comma there, but something and plus two attack dice for each remaining rank. Instead or of it should reading, be, or, or which here we go. Uh, you know, for each remaining rank, choose one. Sundering plus one to hit plus two attack dice. Something like I don't know. That seems wild that they're going to be you nine on twos. I mean, the thing is, I don't think it should be nine on twos. I think it's supposed to be nine on threes. Looks like nine on twos to me. But the way uh, I, I mean, I'd play and it like rolls that. Plus two RG. attack dice for each of this unit's remaining ranks. So if I got one remaining rank, when charging, so not not all the time, but when I have one remaining rank, I'm still uh seven on or six on threes. Maybe Char we're when charging. Maybe when charging. Six on threes when charging. Okay. I think it's I think it should be now I think, when they're not I'm charging, gonna... if you're four on fours, you're not doing you're not doing anything. You're not doing dick. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I think we're, I th I still think we're reading it wrong, but because I think the comma for the way you're reading it should be maybe after two plus two attack dice. So when charging, gains blah 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 comma for each of this unit's remaining ranks. I don't. Know. I don't. I don't, I don't even know. know. It's just I don't think they wrote that correctly. All right, Brathian players, let us know how you feel. Or just tell us you guys are dumbasses for not knowing how to read. Um. Yeah. I'm confused. Okay. So um, Dario does Nahar's it like, commander. Does it say that like on every other Lance Cav is my next question. Did we miss that? Stand by. I'm... Stand by. Stand by. Let's 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 check it out. Let's check it. No, they're just plus two well, attack they... die. You're right. They are each just remaining eight. rank. So they're they're not even the plus one. Like they gave them the plus one buff. I knew that was a buff. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It's a mystery. But that's it for Baratheons. I mean, I was a little like, it's still not very many changes. I'll just say that. No, and not for get, like a whole season change. For an entire season, you're getting a nerf and then this High Garden Lands buff, which in all yeah. honesty. Uh, how many points are these guys? Can I take four of them? Six. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. The commander's got to go somewhere. He can stand in the fucking corner. These guys are rolling nine dice on twos. I don't care. <laughs> just the ultimate glass cannon. <laughs> yeah. Which, honestly, right. I think I think that's a pretty cool archetype because they have no defense and mediocre morale and nuke. I mean, maybe, like, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. All right. Um, Daenerys here. Uh, we got a we got a few Mother of the Dragon things coming here. So old was uh, she had one ability once per game. Start of any turn, you may search your attacks. That's discard power of one of Daenerys commander cards and add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. That. Stays the same? Stays the same word for word? Looks like that yep. stays the same. She does Pretty add much. the order threaten. Start of a friendly turn, target one enemy in line of sight and long range, they become weakened. Uh, Yeah, that's... Yeah. She throws out a weakened token around. It gives her an actual ability and a once per game. Sure. Cool. That's, that's, cool, cool, cool. That's fine. Um, okay, okay, not going to even read the old card. The new card for Legendary Boldness is that unit blocks plus two hits automatically passes panic tests. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the old card did, but that just seems better because I don't have to read that left-hand card. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you oh, pass the panic point. test, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They, got, they got rid of that victory point one. Um, oh, did I was, they do I that was hoping they were just going to flat out be like, I was hoping that card in the left was going to be like targeting and targeting and it was going to be another instance of like, <laughs> just get that the hell out of the game. This was not it, but yeah, they got rid of those people. People never did them. They're like, uh, I can't trust myself to not give my opponent an extra victory point. The thing too is I know like, I'm guessing as we get to Jora, he had the one that was like the very easy, like free victory point. Cause it was like, if you exist at the end of the round, you get like an extra victory as point. As long you're like, as you oh. can keep them alive, or, or something. It was. It was. It was like something easy because you're like, oh, it's round one. Like I'm just gonna play it. Like, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Um, count the cuts, cuts. Count the cuts. Uh, that word yeah, came this out is... a little, a little odd. It's another. We're removing that mm -hmm. that victory point thing. Target the defender. Attach the card to them until. They destroy an enemy while attached. This unit rolls its highest attack die value and may reroll any attack dice. That's a good card now. Yeah, it is. If this target's Bell losses unit. They also gain plus one morale test. That's really good 
for. I'm perfectly charge. fine with a mm -hmm. you're removing a text wall that I have to read three times and then attempt to explain to my opponent. Secondly, that the extra victory point thing is just in a game where you only played a ten. Yeah, having a super... card that could score you ten percent of the points you need, like man, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Jakar is uh is taking a bit of a change here. Yes, so she's going from um short range to long range. Uh, I mean, Which... it's a buff. I don't know if they needed it because it's basically. It just Daenerys? allows you a little space because before you just had to like yeah. hoard your like you couldn't let your dragon go anywhere, you know. Yeah. Now it but, just gives you a little room. But the dragons do attack pretty hard still. Mm -hmm. I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, no. Promise of Fire went point. from the yep, big, there we go. big long text wall to a, a um, long text wall of an extra victory point to a longer text a long text wall of stuff. Um, if that NC when an enemy NCU activates, if that NCU and so you claim the zone this activation attacks this card to one enemy combat unit until the end of the game they suffer one panic test while attached each time a, a dragon unit performs an attack against this unit this unit suffers three wounds instead of d3 actually you know what so not, a, not, not a bad change because basically you'll you're take them you'll yeah it, it works thematically yeah. with the you know promise of fire this they're, they're threatening a unit right so you give them a panic test when you threaten them and then you follow through with the threat, and you're you're basically doing an extra wound instead of doing two. You're doing three. Yeah, and then you can even still play around it because you can activate your NCU, not claim a zone, which sure. is like basically the right. buff. Like which that's is, what you, that is another threat. Yeah, that's the thing that you don't like as the opponent or as a Targaryen player. That's how you're gonna play it. You'd be like, I don't want you to take that zone. Yep, for, for sure. Reason. And then they're gonna because have to, like, they're not off. gonna be able to run away from your dragon, essentially. Yeah. Uh, fire made um, flesh. Um, so is instead swap of swapping out, out, you swap out overrun, not swaps out field control. That's interesting that they are swapping out field control for overrun mm -hmm. because now your dragon can kill a unit and overrun into another unit. That's a buff. It's just a buff. It's a buff. Yeah, for sure. Um, even just even not even reading the rest of the top of the card, that's a buff. Well, in field control, was your nope. hey? I don't want you to claim a zone card. Remember, you get to the right side, my dude. What? Yeah, you know, you're on the wrong side. Yeah, no field control. No, well, they uh, changed. That, well, it. that's what I'm saying. Field control was your like, hey, if your NCU claims his own, I'm going to do this thing. Yeah. Well, now that's promise made fire. Yeah. Well, they both had that before, but it's you know. Yeah, promise made fire was also if the enemy. Used, yeah, it was know. the extra victory point thing. No one cared. Yeah. Um. True. Uh, gray worms retribution of the dragon. We went from a text wall with an extra victory point to, uh, after a friendly unit is attacked, target the attacker attaches card to them until the end of the game. While attached, each time this unit is attacked, the attacker gains vicious. Each time this unit is attacked, if the attacker is Grey Worm or an unsullied unit, this unit also becomes vulnerable. So we got rid of the silly extra victory point thing. We said, hey, anyone who touches these guys is going to do it with vicious. And then you may take a vulnerable token if it's an unsullied unit buff. Wait, hold on. Yes. So every time I attack your unsullied, I get vicious. No. I attach no, no, this no, to you. On. I attach this to you. Time, Every so time after, one of my um, units okay. attacks that your unit, it gets so after, it doesn't matter gotcha, who it is. After I attack you, you yes, put this. I put this on your guys, on. and then anytime you get Hold attacked. On. Wait, wait, wait. After a friendly unit is attacked, target the attacker. Mm -hmm. So you're targeting my unit. Attached. Yes. Okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry. And then while attached, each time this unit is attacked, your unit. The there's just so many vicious yeah yeah uses, there's so many uses of the word attacked attacker and, and attached, attached. <laughs> like, you attach the attacking attacker and attach the attacked attacker what, what? so basically I, I i get what it, i get what it's saying yeah now. all right buff we got rid of the silly victory yeah. point thing it's a buff. Um, and this is this is the this was the easy one. And then yeah. When a friendly NCU claims his own, replaces his own's effect with gain one victory point. Yeah, see that's literally mm -hmm. what it was. Gain one victory point yeah, putting that's what it was. Zone. Your opponent may yeah. attach this to one of your units. Yeah. Each time they activate they suffer a wound. 
if they're destroyed, your opponent gets a VP. It's like whatever. I'll put them on someone in the corner or whatever. Exactly. That I can yeah. keep alive. Um, Jorah yeah. has some heal options. Just whatever, because they're gonna try yeah. to put it on Jorah because he dies easy. Blah blah blah. That's solo Jorah, but this is um, a new yeah. card. Uh, when a friendly NCU claims his own, replaces his own's effect with draw two tactics cards, restore three wounds to Jorah Mormont's unit. One enemy combat unit becomes vulnerable and weakened. Then attach this card to Jorah's unit until they destroy one enemy combat unit. They as in Jorah's unit. Um, while attached, each time that unit activates, they suffer one wound and become panicked. So Jorah's unit will suffer a wound and become panicked until they go kill something. You know, that's not too bad. Like, that's a good card. I'd say you're drawing two tactics cards and restoring three unit, yeah. three wounds to him. So yeah. you could play this, or well, not play it early, but say you went in. And maybe an enemy wound. becomes vulnerable and weakened, so it gives you a target yeah. to go kill. Yep. yep. I mean, that's a, that's a good that's, card. That's fine. It's Once again, we got rid of the text wall victory point thing. Yep. Um, Here it is again. Okay, so we got rid of all these victory point things from Targs. Uh huh. Fantastic. Exactly. Um, Drogo's new uh, Odd Revat. When Cal Drogo activates, target one enemy in long range, attaches card to them until the end of the round. While attached, melee attacks on this enemy gain crit blow. That's, that's there fine. You go. That's fine. That's a good. That's completely good enough card. Before it was, you get critical blow, but you have to kill him before the end of the round. And if you don't kill him, your opponent gets yeah. a victory. Point. But if you do if kill you, him, you get an extra victory point. Yeah, it's like, I mean, like, if, if his I kill him, hard. I'm happy. His his card was hard. like a few of these cards. I know we didn't read the old versions. Some of those like stipulations were kind of hard. Yeah, and they did reward your opponent. So you would just be like, ah, I'm not gonna. That, you're right. Nobody would play them because it'd be penalized, except for drawers where like, oh, this unit is gonna chill. Unless but, like you knew these guys are sitting here with one wound. I got two units. Like mm-hmm. unless you, but then it's just win harder. Yeah, might be yeah. a comeback. Mm-hmm. Doubt it. It's probably win harder. Yep. Warcry, Warcry, tactics card took a change. I'm assuming. Yep, it looks like it's um, the ability. It's, Have we seen the ability yet? Yeah, yeah, because it was on Tully. That's so right. It's, yep. So now instead of just being panicked or vulnerable, it's also panicked and vulnerable if it's Marceline's or an Unsullied unit. Yep, which is fine. Which is fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, and then the Queen's oh. Law. Uh, he had one too. Who knew that he had it? Yeah, I, 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 another one. A text wall for a victory point. We're not even going to read it. It has not changed. <laughs> Attach. I'll, I'll read his out because you read the other one with attached. Go attached, for it. Attached. Okay. When an enemy combat unit activates, attach this card to that enemy until the end of the round. While attached during your opponent's opponent during your opponent turns, they didn't English that correctly. <laughs> This unit loses all abilities and cannot be targeted by friendly tactics cards. Okay, that's fine, because that is like a once per round turn off a unit with abilities tactics cards. That's cool. It's only turned off 50% of the time. It's only turned off during your opponent's turns. Yeah, so, so like, you, you could put down, like, yeah, you could yeah. put down whatever. If this dude's unit or a brazen beast unit performs a charge action against this unit, they automatically count as rolling a six on charge distance dice. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So, like, during your opponent's turns, they lose abilities. During your turns, you can auto six charge. Also. Yeah. So you want to put it on an offensive unit, not a defensive unit. Yep. Put it on a defensive unit. They're still going to get those abilities because those are abilities that they would be using when it's your turn. That's cool. Yep. We got rid of the text wall victory point. Okay. On to um, Jora. Jora, left side of the card is the same. And now his solo rider has changed to Westerosi Rider. And they've made the tech wall. Um, three wounds at this new new version. Three wounds at the start I, of this so I think the only part that changes is that as long as he's oh, on the battlefield, left. your hand size limit is up by one. You start the game with four ah. cards, you draw four cards. That's a weird uh, buff that they gave him. Tyrion used to have it. Yeah. Remember? There's other people that currently even have it in this yeah. version. Of that's, the old, I mean, that's... that's the old Tyrion. I wonder if he's the only thing in Targs that actually gives that now. That's why they gave I, it. I would assume so. No. But, okay. Buff. Okay. I yeah. mean, he's a support character. Makes sense, whatever. Just straight buff. He is four points, so. Yeah, yeah. That's his four point attachment, so. It's okay. Um, Pikeman. 
left side of the card is the same. Doesn't change. Right side. Um, um, they got combat mastery defense. While your opponent does not control the swords, enemies engage with this unit suffer minus one to hit. Okay. Not not bad. Um, I mean, I think, honestly, I'm cool with this. Yeah. Um, because this is kind of going back into when we reviewed the Starks and they got the new unit where it's like, if you control swords, you get this. If you control that, you get this. Obviously, if you get them both, you get this. I think that goes into it because that turns like the tactics board into like turning units on and off a little bit more. Yeah. We're like, oh, I might not want to attack, but like I get it now. Yep. And then for the uh, sword masters, left side doesn't change. They added this combat mastery resolve, whereas the previous one was combat mastery defense. Um, while your opponent does not control the combat, each time this unit passes the morale test, restore one wound. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, basically... I mean, your opponent's going to want to, if you're running unsullied. They're going to want to take the combat away from you anyways because they don't want ex you rolling extra attacks. Mm -hmm. um, but it's... Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, no, I think these... I mean, I think those are pretty well... I mean, basically, until you get a unit and see you on the swords, your dudes are better. Yep. Yes. Or if you block the swords, your dudes are just better. Yep. That is it for the Targaryens. I'll even say uh... Targaryens had a decent amount of changes with all the commanders losing their like VP cards, but oh, I think those I'm are so all... happy to see that. Those are all good changes because you're just not a reading that text while B it's not like <laughs> half just, and half. Well, just, it's just like, yeah, just, just figuring out the mini game that they created every time. And you're like, mm -hmm. I don't want to do this right now, especially in Targaryens. If I'm playing Lannisters thematically, the mini game makes sense. This doesn't make any damn sense. I, I, I have an army. I have dragons. Yeah. Like the, let, let me do the stuff. I'm, the thing too I'm is super I'm, happy with it. The one thing that I will say is I am a little upset just throughout the game they haven't added more commanders where you take a basic card out and you add in a fourth commander card. Like in my opinion, I think almost every commander should have it just so you have a little bit it adds more. Adds so much flavor. Card. It does. Such an easy way to add flavor. You'd be like, okay, well this commander wouldn't retreat. What the hell is this yeah. card doing in my deck? Like, no, yeah. let's throw a little more offense in here. No, mm -hmm, it's, it's, exactly. I'm a I, I'm sure if you big brained all the extra VP cards and all this stuff, like these are probably lateral transfers. Yeah, but but now you're, I'm you're more, super happy to see them. You're gonna play these these up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. on to the wet people. Um. So yeah, he I... had a he had, so okay. So here's the change. Um, Balon Greyjoy, king of. Uh, salt and rock he gets to deploy a previously destroyed Greyjoy unit it used to deploy with its pillage tokens now it deploys without its pillage tokens this is another one I had I went line for line like three times and I'm like okay. what is going on here is that what you're gonna say you don't know what changed yeah I was gonna read through it and be like I don't know what changed the thing is, yeah. is that I will say is we haven't done our Greyjoy army overview yet we have not Baylon. No, we have not yet. It's it's in the in the works. It's in the I, pipe. I was agreeing. No, um, <laughs> and Balon was an auto take. He's still an auto take because he's five points of letting you redeploy a seven point unit. Yeah, um, which is just good because it's, yeah, it's those a, more expensive units that just don't die as quickly. Sure. You're just like, oh, you finally killed it. Pfft, redeploy. Yep, has to be a house gradual unit. Can't be a neutral. But you'll redeploy. I don't know. Iron Makers or Silence Men yeah. or um, yeah. Do do they lose their their uh, attachment? Um, redeploy one previously destroyed House Grey Joy combat unit fully within long range of a friendly edge. It doesn't hmm. say. I don't know. I don't know. There's probably something in core rules about redeploying them. Maybe. Um, the Boister Boist and Charisma again. Boister and Charisma. I believe is all that changed for Asha. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then Newt. we got Newt. Motivated by coin change. Yep. Again. I'd like um, to be in the room when they thought of that, like, oh, Newt's unit does, but also this other unit does. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um Dagmar Clefjaw. His lust for glory card changed. Um used to be start of any turn, attach this card to a friendly combat unit until the end of the round. While attached, this unit counts as having two pillage tokens. And its melee attacks gain plus one to hit. Also, while attached, 
this unit suffers minus one to defensive dice rolls. Now it is they gain one pillage token, and then until the end of the round. Wait, attach, then attach this card until the end of the round while attachment attacks again plus one to hit minus one defense dice rolls. So, so before they just counted as having two tokens. Oh. Now they actually gain a token. That's a buff, yeah. It's it, a buff. Yeah, it's it's because it'll stick with you. Yep. Mm, solid um, buff. And then there we go. Yep, his Iron Envy. Uh, once again, I don't know what card this is switching out. Um, I wonder if he had actually the same card as Steer. I didn't think about that. Final until Strike. Right now. I think he's got. I think he does have Final Strike. Yeah. Uh, you go ahead and read the card while I verify this. So, reading the card, when a friendly Greyjoy combat unit activates, this unit suffers one wound and becomes vulnerable. Choose one for each other friendly unit in short range with pillage tokens. Um, wait, choose one. For each friendly unit within short range with pillage tokens, choose plus one. So you can get up to all three of these pretty easily. This unit attacks gains Sundering. Um, this attack gains Vicious. Remove one pillage token from one other friendly combat. Friendly Greyjoy infantry unit in short range. Place to remove pillage token, pillage token on this unit. Pretty solid card. I, like I said, I think... Is it Final Strike? It is not Final Strike. His cards are... Knowledge paid in iron, coordination tactics, and lust for glory, which we know is not it. Uh, I'm trying to see like if either of them do sort of. So it's either coordination tactics is the same as the free folk one, where you get to pass all the abilities like between the two units. Uh huh. Um, and then the other one was the other one is like discard a pillage token from one unit if you do choose one, return one tactics card from your discard, or look at your opponent's hand and. I would guess that this one's changing that because this one is involving more pillage tokens. Um, Actually, I don't know. I, don't I just know. don't know. I wonder if they would ditch coordination tactics because it's probably a nightmare mm -hmm. with a with an army that can take neutrals. Yeah. I would assume that they had some well, insane probably, combo of coordination tactics. Well, I mean, it's probably locked to Greyjoy units, but either way, you know, there's probably something with coordination because really, too, you're getting... For each pillage token, it just says get... two infantries. Yeah, I don't know. So basically, this one is for on your unit. For choose one, and then for each other friendly unit in the short range with pillage, yeah. choose um, plus one. So you can get all three of these, and you basically are getting three good buffs. Yeah, I guess if you guys know, let us know. No, it's a good card. Yeah, I like it, but I just I don't know where the hell it goes. Yep. Yeah, okay. No um, the Iron Makers, left side of the card, we are picking up one die at last rank. Okay. Um, that's a good buff. I mean, it just in general, it's a good buff. I, I, th I think that's it. Okay, that's weird. Looks like it, they picked up one die at last rank. Oh, uh, they also got one better morale. Okay. No, no, they got one worse for morale. Mm, they're on a six plus now. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm reading that. Out. Yeah. Yes. Better. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, overall for Greyjoys, uh, what do we That's got sad. here? I mean, there's um, one, two, three, four, five, six total changes, and Balon stayed the exact same. Well, Balon so, doesn't get pillage tokens to come back. He still brings you back, though, so he's he still, still brings you up. back. Um, the Boisterous Charisma, a new motivated by coin. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Kind of, kind of lateral. I mean, that change to Iron Makers is fine. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, yep, yep. It's okay, kind of is what it is, right? Yep. Uh, on to the Martells here. Um. Oh God, I don't want to read this. Yeah, uh, Duran <laughs> Martell changed. So basically, um... <laughs> <laughs> Duran's old thing was each time. Um, <sighs> Each time the dude claims his zone indicated on the round, place one order token on him, and then it had it broken down. At the end of each round, if there are four order tokens on Doran, gain one victory point. More free victory points. It was as free victory. As long as he picked the right zones throughout the game. And you couldn't block him because you just activate him second. Or yeah, first. you just activate like, him. Unless they had like some crazy, hey, don't play an NCU, but still, like I only got to hit the right zone four times. And then you got... Out of six, yeah. so... So round th four, five, and six, you get three extra victory points. That's 30% of the full score you needed to win. Right, right. Yeah. 
yeah, you get 30% of your game just by your opponent not having a very specific counterplay. Anyways, it's gone. Um, mm-hmm. Each time he claims a zone before resolving the zone, place one order token on him. If he claims the, what do they call it? The Oasis zone? The Water the Gardens? Team. The Water Gardens, yes. Okay, yes. Um, if he Each claims team. the Water Gardens, place plus one token on him. So you could get two for him claiming the Water Gardens. Um each time he claims the water gardens, you may replace that zone's effect with remove up to four odor tokens from a friendly. Wait, from yeah, okay, from a friendly Durant. So they're just uh, blocking the mirror match for you stealing your opponent's tokens <laughs> back, back and forth the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, for each Orden token, remove, choose one, restore, restore one. two wounds, remove oh, yeah. a condition token, draw a taxes card, place a condition token. One friendly unit shifts. One friendly unit pivots and shifts two inches. One enemy combat unit suffers two wounds. So you get to do some stuff by taking the water garden or by taking anything. Yeah, you put him on a tactic zone, you get a token. You put him on the water gardens, you get plus one. And then once you get into... Really, yeah, if you put him on the water gardens... Four, so... so once you get into round... If you put him on water gardens round one and two, That's what on I was round thinking. three, you can remove four and then do all these. Um, but like, well, still, he has, he has six things. things. Yeah, you, I you mean, can choose like, four of them, and then you're no matter what zone you take, you get one also. So like, yeah, okay, cool. He's four points. Um, he's a oh, it's remove up to four, so you could just do one around even if you want. Yeah, to. you you could do one around, or two yeah. around, or but you yeah. could go off four and do some wild stuff. I mean, honestly, too, like round one, you're not going to use him. Round two, going early, you're probably not going to use him. So once he gets to round three, you're might going to be like, boom, I want to, I want to hit through all like four of these right and, now. And you can have as many tokens as you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, you but know, you, you, you could you could hoard them until round four. Have... Well, round three, round three, you can do all six. Well, if you get him on water gardens all time, every time. You can only do four at a time, though. Oh, true. There's a lot of text on this card. Yeah, so, yeah, you could have six tokens on him. You yeah. will have three on him. Like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. whatever. Okay, Namiria Sand. Um, what changed here? Um... Um, I... If your opponent controls a crown, your melee attack gains vicious. If your opponent controls combat, your melee attack gains crit blow. Or if your opponent, yeah, if your opponent, yeah, if you or your opponent, okay, that's that's the bottom line. So it used to be if you or your opponent control the water gardens, your unit gets plus one to movement. It's now if you or your opponent control the oh. maneuver zone, it gains plus one movement. Um, uh, so basically, you had to take her with Doran so that you could take the Water Gardens. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty I, sure the I, Water Gardens are locked to him. I'm quite sure. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, that's 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 yeah. probably good. Probably less Perfect. of a feels bad. She probably wasn't seeing any play unless a Doran list was being played. I mean, like her card's not bad. No, I mean even the old one. Like, fine. Nah, I'm just, just not going to get like... plus one movement. I'm just going to get Crit Blow or Vicious. Yeah. Eh, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Elias and um, Boister and Charisma. Boister and Charisma change. We can kind of graze over that. Yeah. Uh, g- generic Superior tactics posi- card here. Yes. Superior positioning. It's getting the same if your defender, if the defender is your commander's unit, they suffer a disorderly charge on five or less. So the same as the Rob card update. Yep. So. Yep. Um. <laughs> Starfall Knights. They lost a die at full ranks, but you guys can't see what's coming. Oh, you know what? Starfall Lance. Hold on. Hold on. We might be in for a treat, everybody. No, nope, um, it's, it's, they got an entirely different bullet point. Oh, the Lance's made in Starfall are nothing compared to the ones made in High Garden. Nope. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. So they yeah. lost They lost a die at full ranks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. Um... So Martell's Martell's I'm I'm Oh man, I don't know if I'm glad to see Doran changed or not. His card is 
a lot and it's sort of confusing and I don't even want to remember the six possible things I can do, let alone how many of them I want to chain together in, or if my opponent's running this guy, I'd be like, you just let me know what he does when he does it. I don't. The thing is, is I mean, I don't think it'd be that hard because you're not, you can't double up on any of them. Mm, no, but. So, I mean, like basically once it's getting to when you can do it, you can do stuff like, I don't think he's going to be that confusing. I mean, he does a lot of stuff, but it's using tokens. It's not giving you an auto win condition. No, no, it's it's not for sure. Yeah. But oh, and you got to do all of his things when he claims his own, though. So if you want to spend four tokens, like you can't be like, oh, I want to spend one now. A couple turns later, be like, oh, I want to do another thing. One th- um, one thing we didn't cover. I don't know. Maybe you missed the slide on this. Is the strangler poison? Oh, um, yeah, I couldn't find the old card for it, <laughs> so I did forget about it. Okay, so I'll read through the new card. I honestly don't even remember what the old card does. I think the old card was like dealing wounds until it was removed and you like you couldn't heal. So now the new one is this unit. This is a Martell special rule. Start of the game, place this card close to your tactics deck and ability or effect will state when this card will be played. I think like one of the attachments has this as an ability like put poison. Yeah. Something. We didn't look at them. Basically, this unit suffers a falling based on the game round. Um, round two or later, um, loses all abilities. Round three does not count as controlling tactic zone for abilities or effects. Round four, um, you may only activate this unit if you have no other units that can activate this round, which means you activate last. And then round five, destroy this unit at the start of the round. So basically, you can poison and end up like killing a unit i don't know what it did before i think it was only like deal wounds couldn't heal couldn't remove like tokens or something yeah you just auto sure. kill a unit in round five yeah all effects are acc- cumulative as well so yeah oh yeah that's kind of an NP card but i think yeah. it was NP before i wonder um, i wonder what the criteria is to get this card out there because it's uh, i can probably find it real quick yeah Eh, nah. not that worried about it. Um, all right, yeah, I, I'm fine with whatever. Cha- I mean, they got a lot of changes that other people got to, with the exception of Doran and Nymeria. But the bolstering, the Lance. Nah, yeah. N- not not much to talk about, honestly. Um, On the Boltons, all right, let's first talk about how much Blood Splatter is on the old cards compared to the new cards no blood splatter up top there's much less on the left side and actually they moved well it is on the left side yes but they moved those three drops down straight down well i i think they're attached to like the bottom line of text oh well, that makes so, sense like yeah. this yeah so oh, okay um he gets prey on fear now yep ramsey uh commander prey on fear same same thing as what the neutral Roos got, but the Bolton Roos did not make it in here. Is or is yeah, I don't know. Um yeah, Steel Shanks. Uh added Sundering. Yep. Okay. Okay. Fine. That's um, his commander card as that well. That is his commander, yes. Uh, harsh punishments has changed. It used to be start of any turn, target one friendly combat unit, attach this card to them until the end of the game. They become panicked. While this card is attached, this unit's melee attacks always roll their highest attack die value and gain sundering. Each time this unit f- fails a panic test, they suffer plus one wound. Okay, doesn't seem that bad of a card. Yeah. Like, it seems pretty. Combat unit attack. Okay, new kind one. Kind of glass cannon in your own unit. Yeah. So, and then this one, start of any turn, target one friendly combat unit, attach this card to them to the end of the game. While attached, always roll their highest attack die value, sundering. Each time this unit fails a panic test, it suffers plus one wound. So you're basically you're just not, not becoming... you're just not panicking your own unit. Yeah, I mean, like it's it's just a buff, but you're not panicking. So that's okay. Okay. Um, uh, much less blood on the top of the card. I don't like it. I don't know why they made. I'll, I'll be honest. Not sure why they made that change to the card. I don't think the old version's that bad. Yeah. It's like a minor compared to. I mean, yeah. I don't know. But All yeah, right. much less blood. What is the deal? Yeah, I know. Sad. Um. Fear keeps a man alive. Used to be when an enemy has a panic test, target any number of friendly units in long range for each wound caused by this panic test. Restore that many wounds crossed 
total to these units. Um, it's the roost thing now. Uh, yep, and then it's just the it's bottom just, line. It's just of that. plus one if the enemy's in short range of your commander. Yeah. You get to add one to those total. So if they took three wounds from their panic test, you get to heal four to your total to your units. I can I mm -hmm. confused myself earlier. Yeah, I mean, s small buff, but I, I like it. It just adds a little oomph to your commander there. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we got a couple of units finishing us out here. We have the Dreadfort Archers, which uh, They're getting one a better defense defensive buff and, and their ruthless volley is changing a little um it still ignores terrain when determining line of sight uh it used to when attacking... it still actually it still does that it gets precision and rerolls but you're no longer your units engaged suffer plus one wound yes they no longer suffer or suffer your, one your wound. units used to suffer an auto wound shooting into oh. melee combat they no longer suffer the auto wound I'd like to know why they decided that was the thing to take out because I'm going to be honest, attacking into enemies, engaged enemies is just not a thing in the game. You know, like I feel like this unit's very hard to use in general to get that bonus, like when attacking engaged enemies. So oh. you're basically, so you're basically, you've either gotten charged yourself or you've charged in and now you're shooting. I, I think we both know how this game plays enough to be like, that just doesn't trigger that often. I well, mean, obviously it's, they have... It's, not, it's when your other unit is engaged and you're shooting into that melee combat. Right, but you still have to... The enemy has to be engaged to get that oh, bullet. Yeah, yeah. Like you saying. have to... Uh, yeah, someone has already charged someone out in the middle of the battlefield and these dudes are in the back shooting. That, and that's how you can reroll and get precision. Yes. Which, in my opinion, I'm like... That just doesn't happen, you know. Like, I'm just curious on whether, like, well, that doesn't happen, and we're gonna take off his bad kicker as well. I don't know. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Weird to think that that was the buff they needed. Weird change. Um, blood splatter on the unit is not too bad. You're just missing above ruthless folly. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then finally, here we're ending the Dreadfort Spearmen. Left side of the card, we are the same. Uh, right side, this impaling spear ability changes. It looks like set for charge is going to stay the same. The impaling spear used to be after completing this attack, if you destroyed an enemy rank, all enemies in short range of the attacker become panicked. Um, it now. is now... If they, they were already panicked, they become weakened. Okay, decent, decent buff. I mean, you pass out. I, I think you pass out a bunch of panics in this yeah, army, anyways. I, so I yeah. like that as a mechanic. Just uh -huh, over, yeah. like I wish that was more places. Like, oh, you do a vulnerable token. If they're already vulnerable, though, you get the panic. You get to do something else instead. That's cool. Yeah. That's a cool that ability. Cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much change Bolton's needed. I hope it wasn't a lot. I don't think. I'll be honest. I don't think Boltons are very good, um, and they really honestly didn't get enough changes, I think, to get better. Prey on Fear is fine, but once again, as a Free Folk player, I've been chasing that ability for years with, like, Bone Lord Chosen and kind of all that stuff. It's so rare to, like, really mm -hmm, yeah. utilize that ability. So, Ramsey getting that is... I, I look at it, and I'm like, I don't... I don't... It, Prey on Fear is a threat to my opponent. Yeah. That's it. You know, I, I don't want to kill no. you with my melee attack. I need you to die to the the panic no. attack. You know, it's just stuff like that. Like, uh -huh. yeah. um, the yeah. lack of blood I mean, on the card is annoying. It, at least it combos well with him because it's uh, also got horrific visage. So like, yes. It's very much more defensive. So like, oh, you're going to attack me and take this panic test. If I was like middle ranks, I can then restore. It's a lot better than being right. like offensive. But if ability. I'm middle ranks, my horrific visage isn't as good anymore. You're probably, you're less likely to fail. And this is one of the things where you're like, oh, I, I, I see what you tried to do, but like, I, I yeah, can't do right, anything right. because the, this, this other, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If this, then that. Steel shanks, grab sundering. That's, that's fine. Whatever. Also, um, hold on. One thing I've noticed too is going back to more card art. The like stone, the wrinkles in the paper. 
no, no, not the wrinkles in the paper, but like the gray, almost like stone border stuff that's going on. I don't know what you would consider that. It's like low def on the new version. I'm hoping that is just an issue between how I copied these versus how... I don't think it is. The old cards, I was able to pull off stats. The new cards, uh, I snipped, basically, from the document. Um, I'm just going to say, it looks it looks less high def. Just Just pointing that out. But so. if if you uh, can't just open, I'm, I'm trying to like zoom in on the actual doc here. It's probably the same, but just saying. Yeah, that it looks okay. If you zoom in on the doc, I think it looks okay. I think it's more of a me pulling the cards and losing some. Uh... Oh, you know, I think. Hmm, I have to check. These may be JPEGs compared to the old ones, which would be PNGs, which does have a quality difference. I mean, the one thing I'll say, though, is even Maybe. looking at like harsh, harsh pun punishments, it's not like it's losing. Like, it's already lost the blood. Uh, I mean, on both of those cards. For sure. Like, that's that's it's immediate gone. to me. But like, like, are you guys trying to save on fucking printer color? I don't care. Yeah. But either way, Bolton's. They didn't really get any type of buff in my mind that's like meaningful. Yeah, I mean, this there's is nothing that I'm so looking at like oh. inconsequential. So now that we're at the um, end and we're just saying Bolton's inconsequential overall. This what are is your awesome. Overall? This is awesome, but this isn't. This isn't like game changing here, right? The potential to maybe do a weekend token. I mean, mm -hmm, yeah, but like, okay, so Bolton's are so mediocre, but like overall on this season five update what are your initial thoughts i'll let you go first and then i'll go um so. the number one thing that's going to jump out to me here we'll run it all the way back is all these target commanders losing these stupid vp cards okay that's I've a positive i've always okay. loved the targ commanders getting that extra flavor of hey we're swapping these cards and once they started mm -hmm. doing that we were like oh i hope they do this for everyone um, and then they, and they never did. There's a very few here and there. I absolutely love that just from an ease of play uh, mm -hmm. sort of standpoint. Um, But I don't feel like they changed a lot. Not for a change that's supposed to be like your, you know. Season? Like yeah, your whole your, season. Yeah. Like, yeah, I would agree. Um, I mean, you go know, ahead. And then. Well, you go ahead, and then I'll come back to my final so, thought. Here. So, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I totally agree. You know, there's, I think that Targ card update is good. I think there's some nerfs where you're like, did you really need to nerf that? I don't I want an answer on this High Garden Lance, by the way. But I think we're reading it wrong. I mean, roll 47 dice, you're hitting on ones. Let's go. But then, really, too, like, as you flip through this document, it's more of just like, oh, we changed hidden traps, and here's the 20 different things across every army that had hidden traps, and it's changing. There but that's was... like but that's like one of the four changes. Same with Boisterous Charisma and that Motivated by Coin. Yes, that's what I was going to say, too. So, like, in general, like, yeah, those abilities changed, but, like, Motivated by Coin, I don't think changed at all. They just reworded it they, so that right. I think they could read it correctly yeah. and just play it how they meant to. But, like, being like, oh, hey, hidden traps, it changed across the game, and you're like, oh okay but that's the only like one of my four unit changes or right. one of my two unit changes that changed was this hidden traps change yeah so like i don't know to me i look at this and i'm just like this felt like a patch eh. it, it felt like they like yeah this felt yeah. like a patch not not an update um you know and, I, and i'll say i i saw on the facebook that apparently it's under new devs now it's not uh michael and fabio anymore Oh, um, who are the devs? Is the question. On. Let's look at look how big the targ symbol is by his leg. Yeah, no, I've noticed that. There's a That's few weird. different cards I've noticed that. Even on, if you go to the free folk one with uh, um, I just noticed that. I think steer maybe. I think that was one of them that I noticed it on. Um, or like that one. Okay, that one regroup and reform. I don't know. Maybe it's your size difference. I but I like I don't think so. Like I don't know how much you're zoomed in, but then it's like there. But yeah, that, like that one like clearly. That's clearly. That so one's not. So, you're saying, so I didn't know that there was a dev change. Okay, so that's Who that's what I saw on devs? Facebook. I may be wrong, um, but I remember years ago. You know, there's there's people 
who aren't supposed to talk that talk and um you'd hear through the grapevine they're like oh this is supposed to be the last update i remember someone saying that once like oh michael chanel said this is supposed to be the last update and you're like what, what do you mean the last update and you're like oh like this this should be the end all be all of updates and it's like it was one of the worst ones it was like that 1.61 <laughs> 1. where just <laughs> starks yeah. were just mud hole stomping everyone's stark ass. was mud hole stark was getting everybody and free yeah. folk was too. free folk was just oh as yeah because free folk could run 15 units and none of them were worth yeah. victory points yeah um i think and it was they, like that update and you're just like why does anyone i so i don't think cool mini or not is in the business of a living game no. they're very much like oh here's our new zombicide here's our mm -hmm. you know whatever and i just get the feeling that like they want to wash their hands of this game and they're not putting a lot of resources into it. And I wonder if song will ever get to the point, And I don't think it could, because I've been part of this community long enough. And I'll be entirely honest. This is a very toxic community. Mm -hmm. um, if it could ever get to a point to where like, there was a council of people and then the game was played by a community update. Mm -hmm. um, but kind I of like uh, the ninth age. I know we looked at that for yes, a while. Um, I think, in, I think war machine hordes exist in that same kind of area. Now we're like, mm -hmm. It's, it's not being kept up anymore. So a governing body essentially took over. Um, there's a part of me that would like Song to, to see that happen. It may be the mm -hmm. death of the game. It may be the rebirth. Yeah, it, it just seems so weird that they're like, this is the season and they've been promoting it. And you're like... Like this Davos change. Hmm. This was another one where I, I kind of like skimmed over them real quick when I was putting the documents together. And I was like, eh, I'll find the difference when we get to it because we were trying to do this in a hurry. Um, and I had two kids drive me nuts all day long. And then I get here and I'm like, oh, it's not a change. It's just, just added. Like I saw outflank up top left and no outflank up top. Right. And I was like, cool. Like they're getting rid of this outflank on Davos because the rest of the Baratheon army is too damn slow to take a, to yeah, take use I, of this ability. It's, it's been an issue it the whole time. It's existed. It just doesn't matter. It just and doesn't then work. you're like, oh, they just added Stannis up top. And I was like, you're shitting me. And you're yeah. right. They changed the text to make it a color that's harder to read. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know. I'm I'm a little disappointed in this update. You know, you always are like, whenever you think of updates, and you're like, yeah, that's this is going to be awesome. I know we've both been playing 40K, mm -hmm. and they're really good. You know, every three months they do like points and maybe a couple rules. Like they do a lot less on the rules at the points time. But then the next three months, it's very much like a rules, unit abilities, stats, points to adjust that. Yes. Like, well, they don't just change points. They'll be like, well, we've really tuned this thing down, so we're going to like give that point some, that unit some cheaper points. Or like, hey, this wasn't as good as we wanted it to be. Maybe we leave that ability the same and actually update that. Sure. And then like the other one, you know, it's just strictly like points. Like we had well, to adjust or whatever and that kind of goes back to our, what we said earlier this kind of feels more like a patch than an update those mid updates that 40k does the, the those patches those mm -hmm. feel equivalent to this like we, yeah in general yeah they're probably like equal to this but they do them twice as often yeah and, and that, it's even, that was, and that's one thing patch. I'll even say. That's their patch. That's not their update. That's their like. Yeah, even too, like they don't just go in and like, like yeah, they'll be like one of uh, one ability. They don't usually have like units that share abilities like these guys do, like boisterous charisma. They don't have that like similarly across everybody. They just well, they're very good about not having every army look the same. Yeah, right, right. Well, like um, let's look at Balon here on a scale of one to ten. A ten being a total overhaul, one being nothing happened. He's a one. He's like a one. You could say a two. Like yeah. uh, boistering charisma. I mean, she got a generic change. A generic change. Like that's like yeah. a that's like a three. You know, uh, motivated by coin. There's we saw how many places this takes place in neutrals. Like this is another one. It's like a two. It's like you change this one term. It's on this character, and it's like, well, the, you know, does this count as an update? Like you change his ability. I've seen it sixteen times now. Yeah, you just yeah, you just patched it. Um. This one, I mean, that one's... Th this one's fine. Like, this is yeah, an update-worthy yeah. card. Uh, same thing will go for this whenever we find out where the hell it goes. Um, this is a patch. You yep. you adjusted one die, you adjusted one morale stat. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's only because you play Warhammer to 2,000, you play Song to 40. 
you can't a one point is a big deal in song mm -hmm, yeah. so like you got to find those tweaks elsewhere by giving a unit a die on last rank that's that that that's a one and then giving them the morale buff puts them up to like a four yeah because mm -hmm. when you're on last ranks you're you're dead yeah. Like you're probably already dead. That 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 red number, inconsequential. It, yeah, generally inconsequential. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I, when you see yeah. an update, especially for a game that, you know, doesn't has had update issues in the past, right? Where we're like, oh, hey guys, it's it's been broken as shit for nine months. Like, could we please get a little something? When you see an update, like I want an update to go to make me feel like I want to put models on the table in, you know. Like mm -hmm. saw Amen. out like a tournament, or you know, try to get some rounds in, or maybe some TTS or something. This doesn't do it for me. I yeah. like the Targ changes as a Targ player. Um, yeah, but I, it's it's not. I agree. I the thing too, like I think the game is probably in a pretty decent solid state, like balance wise. But at the same time, it's just like, yeah, this isn't anything exciting. There's right, nothing right. here to be like, oh, I want to crack out out these minis again and like, you know, more than a beer and pretzels and like do something with them. Now it's just like, oh, it, we're, we're playing the same game we were. I mean, I mean, no, yeah, <laughs> but all right. Well, I don't know. We'll we we have some more of the uh, the faction overviews coming. We'll still. I mean, I'm still gonna do them. Mm -hmm, yeah, I still like the game. I still like reading. You know, the things and and plotting out how these could be useful and stuff but nah if i five time put something on the table i just don't think it's song yeah yep i agree all right well if anyone's uh still here for this um we greatly appreciate it and uh we'll see you guys around soon yep thanks for joining us everybody bye bye